Hello friends, I am your chemistry teacher Ganesh Kuraskar from Science Academy Dham. Friends, in today's first lecture of chemical thermodynamics, we are going to discuss some topics such as the introduction to thermodynamics, what is energy, what are the types of energy, how can we define the thermodynamics and certain limitations of thermodynamics. Before starting this chapter, we should know the meaning of term thermodynamics. Friends, this word thermodynamics is made up of two Greek words. Therm means heat and dynamics means the motion. It means in this chapter we are going to discuss the different process which will become in motion due to the heat. To understand this topic thoroughly, let's take some examples. If we take a beaker containing water and if we supply heat to that beaker, water molecules will absorb this heat and due to that absorption of heat that water molecules will become in motion and they get converted into the water vapor it means that in this first example due to the absorption of the heat liquid water molecules become in the motion and they get converted into water vapor let's take another example if you consider liquid water and if we keep it in the freeze, then the liquid water is converted into ice. It is due to the that liquid water loses its heat and get converted into the ice. Again, in this example, there is the motion of heat. Third one. If we consider coal or we can say that the carbon and if we burn it in presence of air that is oxygen, it will get converted into carbon dioxide with the loss of large amount of heat. It means that again in this example, heat is in the motion. Let's take another example. If you consider dry cell. In the dry cell, chemical energy is converted into electrical energy or if you consider electroplating process of the metal, in this process, electroplating process of metal, Electrical energy is get converted into chemical energy. And consider one more example. If you consider water stored in dam, this is the dam. As you know that due to its position or due to the height in the dam that water possesses the potential energy and when water flows through the dam it get converted into kinetic energy due to its flow it means that the potential energy which is present in the stored water get converted into the kinetic energy in the flowing water. It means that in first example we observe that heat is in the motion and in the example 4, 5 and the 6 we can say that there is the conversion of energy from one form to the another form. All these topics are comes under the thermodynamics. We 
because here either energy convergence or heat is in the motion. Now we are going to discuss what is the energy. Energy is the capacity to do work. What is energy? Energy is it is capacity to do work. It means that if you want to perform certain work, we require the energy. Takes one example from the biology. When we take, we take the food in our body through the process of digestion, that food gets broken down and it gets converted into the energy that is the ATP. And this energy is useful to perform different functions or process of our body. It means that here again. The energy is in the motion. Now we should know what are the different forms of energy. Different forms of energy. We know that light energy, sound energy, potential energy. Kinetic energy, rotational energy, translational energy, vibrational energy of the molecules. These are the different forms of energy. But in this chapter, we are going to discuss two most important forms of energy, and those are work and heat. Work and heat. These are two important forms of the energy. Now, how can we define the thermodynamics? Thermodynamics is the branch of science. Thermodynamics is the branch of science which deals with Different forms of energy. Different forms of energy and energy changes. In physical and chemical transformations. Physical and chemical transformation so finally we define the thermodynamics as it is a branch of science which deals with different forms of energy and the energy changes in physical and the chemical transformation it means that during any physical or the chemical transformation how can be the energy will change okay so, thermodynamics is the branch of science which deals with the different forms of energy and energy changes in physical and chemical transformations. Now, there are certain limitations of thermodynamics and those are first one. Thermodynamics does not tell anything about the rate of a chemical reaction. Thermodynamics does not tell anything. Does not tell anything about the rate of a chemical reaction rate of the chemical reaction. Second one is thermodynamic does not tell anything or it does not provide any information regarding the 
मेकेनिज्म ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शन थर्मोडायनेमिक्स डज नॉट टेल एनीथिंग अबाउट द मेकेनिज्म ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शन माइक्रोस्कोपिक प्रॉपर्टीज सच एज दी एटम्स आइज और दी मॉलिक्यूल्स थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स डज नॉट डील्स विथ माइक्रोस्कोपिक प्रॉपर्टीज सच एज Atoms, ions, or molecules. So, guys, here we already studied the limitations of thermodynamics, and those are it does not tell anything or it does not provide any information regarding the rate of chemical reaction. It means that the speed of chemical reaction. It does not tell anything, or it does not provide any information regarding the mechanism of chemical reaction. And last one, it does not deal with the microscopic properties such as the atoms and or the molecules. So, guys, in today's lecture, we discuss the important basic concepts of thermodynamics. In tomorrow's lecture, that is the in lecture number two, we are going to discuss two important topics. That is. basic terms related to thermodynamics that is system surrounding and boundary and also the different types of the systems thank you